Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Um, so I've been using this program called OBS Ninja and some people have been asking me about it. So I'm going to explain very short what is OBS Ninja and how you can use it uh, exactly. So OBS Ninja is kind of like a, a video conference thing, but it was developed thinking about it being integrated into OBS and has some ways to control as a director, which is really useful for you if you want to like mute someone and uh, not have the everyone available in the scene immediately. So uh, I'm going to show you real quick how it works. You just go to obs.ninja and you have these options here, which allow you to, um, well, do all the things that OBS Ninja allows you to do. Uh, usually you want to create a room. So I'm going to do that right now. Uh, you enter whatever name you want, uh, password, which is uh, not, and you are right now in the director mode of the thing. Um, so what you can do now is to copy paste this URL and give it to someone. And if they open it on their thing, they can join with the camera. Uh, mine probably will not work because it's being used by OBS right now, but I can enter with OBS virtual camera, which also is not working. Well, whatever. For the purpose of this explanation, uh, it works like this. So you are, um, you enter with the webcam and you can chat and anyone with this uh, URL on the internet can join. And you can see immediately here on the top right, uh, it says the people who are in and how much bandwidth you are using to be on this, uh, on this chat room. Um, the thing with OBS Ninja is that it doesn't send to a central server and then the server sends it to everyone else. This is sending directly client to client. So if someone else joins, I will be sending my image to them and they will be sending their image to me directly, no server behind it. Um, and on the control room, you can see multiple people showing up here. I'm going to add like a fake person. I hope this works. It might not. Uh, sure. Disable video, start. Okay, so I have two entities now here. I go back to this one. So you can see I have two people here, one with the camera, the other one without the camera. And I have a full uh, sort of controls here. I can see previews with more or less quality. I can control their volume. If I see one of them is louder than another, whole bunch of different settings. And then what you can do with this is you can copy this link um, and this will be added directly into OBS. So I just have to click plus here, add a browser, uh, create OBS test. I put the link here. It can be whatever resolution you're on. I think I'm recording at 1080p, so I'm going to do that. Boom. And right now I only have one person uh, with camera on, so that's what you see here. But if I go here or actually here and actually change my camera on this, which I think I will need to re-enter to do that, and just put something fake, another OBS virtual camera. So now I have two cameras on. So on my OBS, it also updated to have two cameras on immediately. And um, I'm going to hide these things so you can see what it, what what you get directly here. And uh, so you will get the direct video feed from the thing directly to incorporate on OBS. You can also get the individual uh, individual feeds directly. If you are here on the control room, here on the bottom, you have a link. So if you want to composite your scene somehow uh, with like a, a camera being small and the other one being big, you can do that by copying the different links and compositing everything with the different browser elements inside OBS. And uh, the other cool thing that this allows you that you, you can share your screen as well. Um, I'm going to share the entire screen, just a particular window. I can share a particular, um, I'm going to share this window, which is not even on the screen, but you can see here. And if you go to OBS, it's immediately listed here. I probably didn't see that because I was with the image on top, but yeah, you get the point. You can share the screen and it shows up here on OBS afterwards. 
Um, so yeah, that's a quick thing that I wanted to show you. OBS Ninja looks very versatile, um, kind of like Zoom, but without being so heavyweight. And uh, yeah, the integration with OBS seems rather cool. Uh, you might have some issues on very large uh chat rooms if you have too many people you will be having you'll be sending your upstream to all of them so you might need a little more upstream if you are using you know i don't know discord or zoom or jitsi or whatever but other than that i think it's very versatile and for small conferences of like uh, conference talks of three four people you usually have enough uh, bandwidth there are also a few settings that you can uh, enable and disable here uh which you can customize a few things here um, and there are some settings as well to to change the bitrate of the video that you're sending uh, which i don't think are listed here directly but there are options for that so if you feel like you are uh, using too much bandwidth you can limit the upload that you're doing uh, of your own and things like that still under development so it's still a rather recent sort of uh, tool but it seems very useful i used it for mystery demos in theater uh, on the last uh, recording that we did and it worked pretty decently there were some minor issues with echoes but i think it was mostly me that haven't tested things properly yet um so yeah uh, that's it for now hope you enjoyed this little crash course into obs ninja if you have any questions feel free uh, to ask they also have an active discord and reddit community that uh, talks about ongoing development for for obs ninja so feel free to check that out as well i think the link is right here if you go to obs ninja yeah right here in the bottom stop sharing right here in the bottom subreddit discord wiki so yeah everything just through obs.ninja so um yeah check it out see you next video bye bye everyone take care